Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, pretty much since the beginning of my channel, back in like 2007 or 2008, I've been doing a lot of uh, extensive research, like multiple videos, uh, basically researching the Da Vinci Code Easter eggs on the map Sand Trap, and later on the map Sandbox as well. But, if you guys saw those videos, hopefully you all did, and hopefully it's all common knowledge by now, you'll know that the minefield on the map Sand Trap is not actually a minefield at all. It's actually really faint sentinel beams being fired from the Da Vinci Code eggs at the top of the towers. They shoot beams into the minefield to track you, and when the beam hits the surface, it spawns a mine. But there's no actual minefield out there. It's just a sort of projectile from the... Uh, the Da Vinci Code Easter egg, and you can see it, the egg like fires the beam out briefly to target you, and it also spins around to, to keep an eye on you. Now, that's uh you know basically like the mystery solved videos I did in the past, and I, I thought it was pretty definitive. There was really nothing else to add to this, but as it turns out, there's actually one more interesting fact about the Da Vinci Code Easter eggs, or actually they're called Shrine Defenders, which are you know the guardians of Sand Trap. And, you know, when you get killed by the Guardians on Sand Trap, you know, by the mines, that's, you know, that's what these are. But as it turns out, these things are actually also vehicles. And I did not really pick up on that back in the day. And I kind of just noticed that very recently. Now, of course, if I fly up to them, I can't get into it. But they are vehicles. So, there's a few things that had to be done first. But the reason why they're not drivable at first is because they already have an AI inside. So to get the AIs out, I had to overload the map. So the reason why when you overload the map with the sand, with the um, the trip mine method, you'll notice that like the minefield doesn't work anymore. You could drive around and the mines won't shoot at you. That's because the eggs are briefly despawned and then they respawn, but without the AIs inside. And then once the uh, the AIs are gone, then the uh, you know there's nothing driving these vehicles anymore, and thus I can get in. Now, technically, these are actually more turrets than vehicles, but turrets are considered vehicles in the Halo 3 engine. Now, this game, by default, it actually, uh, it'll say, like, hold B to operate plasma cannon. I guess that's just what the game considers it as by default. Uh, but, yeah, so I can get in, and that's basically what it looks like when you drive the, um, the Da Vinci Code Easter Egg, which, uh, I'm just going to call it like the Guardian at this point, because that's that's pretty much what it is. It's just a Guardian on the map, kind of like the turrets on Snowbound. Uh, but yeah, so when you drive it, you can, or when you use it, I guess it's the more correct term, you could, you know, rotate around 360 degrees. Uh, you, can, you can even fire it, actually. You have full control over it. It's, uh, it's actually uh, pretty cool. And unfortunately, you can't do this without modding. Uh, while it is a vehicle, the uh, it's it's not properly set up for players to be able to drive it. There's a few incorrect things on it that prevent you from driving it. Now, by default, it's actually not disabled for the player to drive, but there's other issues with it that need to be fixed so that it can be properly controlled by players. But uh, it's a very simple fix. But you know, obviously, that fix does require modding. So ultimately. Yes, when you overload the map, you know, with glitches and stuff uh, on like regular Halo 3 without mods, you are clearing the AI from the um, the Guardian, but you won't be able to drive it, even if you could get up to it, which I don't believe you can get up to it because there's a death barrier anyways. I had to remove the death barrier to actually fly up to it. But anyways, one interesting thing about firing the actual beam, which in a previous video, when I fired it, I used like a modified weapon that uses the beam. Uh, but this time I'm firing the actual beam. And it's actually a charge weapon. I had to hold it down to charge it. And then it will fire. Almost like a Spartan laser. When it reaches full charge, it'll fire. If I keep holding it down, it'll keep charging and then firing. And when it fires the beam, when it hits something, then the mines go off. And it doesn't matter what it hits. It just uh, it'll activate the mines. But yeah, so there you guys have it. That is basically the secret vehicle on Sand Trap, which is the Da Vinci Code Easter Eggs, a.k.a. the Guardians on the map. They actually are actual vehicles that, um, with some slight changes and fixes, you can actually drive as a player. 
But anyways, that wraps up for this video. Hopefully you guys did find this to be interesting. If you did, as always, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave a thousand in the comments, anything else you want me to check out or look into, just let me know. And I'll do my best to look into it when I get a chance. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.